Today on your side tonight, a new worldwide recall focuses not on toys or food, but rather on body parts. And a Valley veteran is one of thousands affected by it. Carrie Pena has his story. Scott Almgel is a Gulf War veteran, and while he returned from war without any physical injuries, Scott would end up suffering from ongoing pain, a degenerative condition that nagged him for years. He needed a hip replacement. I have a one-year-old and a five-year-old and a 15-year-old, and, you know, not being able to be as active with them has been hard. After the surgery three years ago, Scott says he knew something wasn't right. It almost felt like it wasn't you know, hinged or something. It was weird. I had to, you know, this kind of goofy walk. Last week, he learned that his hip implant is now under recall. I was kind of in shock. According to Depew Orthopedics, a division of Johnson & Johnson, 93,000 people had the device implanted. So Valley Orthopedic doctor David Tallman explains how it's supposed to work. When the grinding gets so severe, it makes it difficult for them to walk, um, to even stand for a few minutes. And so that's when they basically have to remove the bone and then put in the replacement here. But in this case, many implants don't fit properly, requiring one out of eight patients to need a second surgery to replace them. It's a number attorney Brian Devine expects to climb. This week, Devine's San Francisco-based law firm filed a multi-million dollar lawsuit against Depew Orthopedics on behalf of Scott Almgel and three others across the U.S. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of patients out there who are suffering with this hip because their doctor doesn't know what's going on, because their doctor didn't know about the problem uh, that Depew was having with their hip. But even more troubling, Devine says, is how Johnson & Johnson expects patients to pay for corrective hip surgeries, which he estimates could run into the hundreds of millions. Johnson & Johnson is telling patients to uh, go ahead and have their insurance company pay for the surgery. Uh, and of course, many of these patients, the insurance company is the federal government, it's Medicare. And so basically what Depew is saying is that the federal government should go ahead and pay for their mistake. Before ever learning about this recall, Scott Almgel had his hip replaced. It's a surgery that can run upwards of $30,000. Scott's insurance picked up most of the tab, but he feels that he should be reimbursed for the three years of what he calls pain and suffering with a defective hip. Johnson & Johnson tells 3 on your side that it will reimburse insurance and Medicare for second surgeries and that it is, quote, committed to assisting patients. Not all patients who have this device will need a second surgery, but you should consult your doctor. We put a lot more information on our website, azfamily.com. Just click on 3 on your side. Carrie Pena, 3 on your side.